tell me, uh, tell me how it all started. So basically, I've always played guitar, and then at some point, uh, I was going to uh, this guy Glenn Nelson at Mockingbird Music, and I'd bug him like, "Hey, let me come work here. I want to build a guitar." And I, I'm not even lying. Probably after like five years, he probably he finally said, "Well, if you want to come out here for apprenticeship, come on out." And so um, I went out there, and uh, he said, "Well." You know, let's build a guitar. So my name is uh, Jack Sorf and I'm a professional guitarist. I mostly play music in the style of Django Reinhardt. If you love Django's music, it's a real small world. The idea to have him build a guitar was actually presented to me by a band leader who sort of told me whether I liked it or not. Dan was going to build me a guitar and more Dan and I started to talk about it. We we had a design that I was really excited about, and I remember the first time I picked it up when it was finished, and I, I almost cried. It was like the, the sound that I always heard in my head. I started playing the kind of music that I asked for guitars like these maybe three years ago. When I had him working on it, I came here and he had just finished this thing. And it was one of those things where, um, this has maybe only happened to me a, a handful of times, once or twice maybe in my life, where as soon as I started playing guitar, I kind of fell in love with it. I mean, it's just, it's a fabulous instrument. It's so responsive, it's such a beautiful tone, it's very, very comfortable to play. Um, it's gorgeous looking. Uh, and, you know, it projects incredibly well. Uh, this actually arrived to me the day of the release show for Jack's record. So, I, I, uh, it was trial by fire, to say the least. Um, and man, is it a wonderful guitar. Um, so, what a nice thing to be able to sort of pick out some of my favorite appointments and sort of put them all together and get this one really special, unique piece. And then to also get the Dan Hunt touch um, with his design for the bracing, his design for the, for the sort of uh, inside parts and sort of the, the how the sausage is made. Put the wood in Dan's hands and let him do his thing. You know, it's not a Stratocaster or Les Paul, so, you know, it's, it's a different animal together. And, I n never saw a Selma guitar in my life until I went to, you know, a guitar show and there it was. So in real life or, or even, you know, European jazz guitar. So once you discovered there was a whole other world, like, you're like, wow, look at this. It's, you know, totally different approach than American guitars. Like, so anyway, so once you were introduced to the European guitars and then even in the back of that Selma book, you look, oh, there's the Jerome brothers or there's Favino or there's DeMauro. And you start to understand like, Oh, there's, you know, they're all building Selmer style, but it's their own take on it. 